Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss, okay, go further into the project management. Okay, these are the outline for today. We will look into the importance of project management and then we are going into the three uh, main activity in the project management in which the project planning, scheduling and project control and also we will look into the project management technique. Okay, what is project? Pro this is the project characteristic. Project is a single unit or one-time event. Okay, so it usually have many related activities or tasks and it's a bit difficult in the planning and inventory control because it's a one-time. Okay, so uh, it's not as fixed as the daily production. And then a general purpose equipment and need a high labor skill. Okay, especially in the big project. Okay, example of project. Building construction. Okay, once the building is uh, uh, completed, so it's considered as a successful project. And then we have research project. Okay, uh, the definition of project is a uh, project has a set of predefined objective. Usually, these, two, these three things are very important in which the time, okay, cost, and quality. It's like a triangle, okay? So, it's hard to balance these three so that you have a very, uh, very good outcome, okay? Actually, it's conflicting with each other. If you try to cut the cost, it will affect on the quality. Okay? And then if you try to push the time, and then the cost will go up because you want to reduce the time. Okay? So, it it's will conflicting each other. If you want a very high quality, then the cost going to be high and also the time. So... Uh, project manager have the responsibility to juggle these three so that the objective of the project will be completed. Alright. Uh, this is another diagram, okay, to explain about the project management planning, scheduling and controlling, okay. It's a very important um, stages in the project management. Then we go to the role of project manager. Project manager is very important because he or she will will make sure that the project is on time, within the budget and uh, within the customer expectation. So, he mostly the project manager is responsible for everything. Okay. He must have a good communication, must have a very um, um, a plan B, always have a backup plan, okay? So, must be a very competent person to become a project manager, okay? Make sure that all the activity in order, okay? So, all of this is the uh, responsibility for project manager, and then to motivate people, okay? Good coaches, good communicator, okay? Because the project manager will communicate with everyone. Manager. Okay, let's look into the work breakdown structure. We call it WBS. Okay, what is WBS? WBS is how you divided the work, the, okay, no, the work, the project into work or small tasks. So that everybody know uh, which department they are belong to and what are responsibility that they are covering. Okay, for example, you have to divide into uh, many many levels. Okay, for example, these are the development of software. So it start. Okay, they have four le levels. So they divided into three three um, team. On the software design, okay, the cost management plan and the system testing. So each uh, team will know what are the main tasks that they have to complete. It, okay. 
Okay, during project scheduling stage, we are using gun chart. Okay, CPM stands for critical path method. And then PERT stands for program evaluation and review technique. Okay, these are the example of PERT chart. Okay, and this has example of gun chart. So these two are very important. You need to use it both. Okay. Okay, this is a simple gun chart. Okay, most of you have have been involved with gun chart. Okay, so whether you realize or not, it's it's like it's like a, a important part. Okay, uh, using gun chart. So we have time. Okay, month. Sometimes we have in days. And then these are the tasks. Okay, and these are the do duration. Okay, determining the project. Scheduling, okay. Very, very important is to perform a critical path analysis. Okay, this is very important because we want to know which path that is critical that we cannot um, have delay in the activities. Okay, so it needs to be monitored closely compared to non-activity, a uh, non-critical activity. Okay, these are the example. Okay. So here we have the task. Okay, we have task 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then each task is given the duration. This is 4 weeks. Task 1 is 4 weeks. And then task 2 is 8 weeks and so on. So these are the link between tasks. So task 1 need to be completed. Then it can go to task 2 and task 3. Okay. And task 5 only can be completed if task 2, task 4, and task 3 complete okay and then task 5 can uh, start and uh, finish and later on task 6 will uh, start okay so you need to follow the path okay what is critical path critical path is the path with the longest duration okay uh, in this case we have a few path here uh, for completion we can go 1 2 4 5 6 one two five six and one three five six okay we have to list down all the path and then what is slide time slide time is the duration of critical path minus the path duration so let's list the path okay so we have three choice here okay one two four five six one two five six and one three five six so what you have to do you have to add up all the duration so for the path one two four five six we have 13 which you do four plus eight plus six plus eleven and plus one you got 30 okay so you have to do it for one two five six and one three five six so these are the length okay from this length you need to choose the critical path so critical path is the path with the longest duration. So in this case, we know that path 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 is the longest. So now we need to find the slack. Okay, the slack for critical path is 0, is set as 0. So for this uh, path, the slack is 30 minus 24, so we get 6. So the slack for this path is 30 minus 20 we got 10 okay so these are the slack so for critical path the slack should be zero okay okay let's do for this example okay the question asks you state the possible path and duration okay and then identify the critical path so we need to list down the path first so a c e a, a b d e and then b d f so i think there's three paths there and then we need to add on at the duration okay so for a c e is six plus three plus six and then for b d e is five plus three plus six and for b d f is five plus three plus nine so you got 17 so which one is critical path critical path is the b d f because it gives the longest duration okay and then did they ask for slack no if they ask slack then you have to do another column here what you have to do just pick 17 and select this slack 
and set this slack as 0 17 minus 5 is 2 this AC is slack and then for BD is slack is 17 minus 14 is 3 okay all right just imagine if you have a project usually you have lots of tasks maybe hundreds even thousands of tasks need to be completed so it must be done use, using uh, technology okay you're using tools so uh, most common tools that people use is the Microsoft project they have the built-in gun chart and then link to the PERT chart and everything is complete in the Microsoft project okay these are examples of the PERT chart okay these are example of the uh, gun chart okay then we have example of PERT chart and they have all the information if you have some delays okay so you can calculate or you can see from the Microsoft project so it's easily to monitor they they can uh, set they can give you uh, indicator if there's a delay in the project okay 